is up guys it is me saw your anime protagonist vtuber and welcome back to Sire's reactions where i react to anime that are in my to watch list and today we are going to react to episode 35 of jojo's bizarre adventure golden wind uh you know the 35th episode of the jojo's bizarre adventure franchise we are like in the what the last five episodes of the series five or six episodes of the series and uh looks like i don't know i don't know they're setting up for the end because you know uh so yeah all the weirdness aside last episode was a very very funny episode uh uh looks like everyone switched bodies because paul Narev's stand uh silver chariot has become chariot requiem because of the stand arrow so basically the stand arrow itself has multiple abilities i guess so the first ability is to kill someone or you know make you know inject someone with this alien virus that could either kill you or you know make you evolve into having a stand and then the second ability is if this stand was able to touch the arrow it will transform into a requiem form and it will go berserk and starts you know controlling all of my well this is basically on polnareff's point of view so we don't know if it's possibly confirm or maybe it has to do like it would give something to depending on the stand so maybe uh in this case so basically silver chariot with the stand arrow has the ability to switch people's minds make them fall asleep and then switch minds so what happened now you have mista on trish's body trish on mista's body you have narancha on uh on uh, Giorno's body and vice versa and then you have Diavolo. Diavolo has now switched uh it's not Diavolo I don't know if it's Diavolo but uh you know Bucciarati's uh soul has now went to Diavolo and now he's uh attacking Silver Chariot Requiem so that's where we left off we left off with uh Diavolo uh trying to attack the uh the boys i uh, know the, the silver chariot and then uh when our boys was able to was almost you know giorno and darancha was almost gonna attack him uh but in the end uh he didn't attack him because they realized that sticky finger <laughs> just fingered uh the silver chariot and now uh what's gonna happen so let's see what's going to happen next i'm excited to for part for this part so let's uh start this reaction already so if you guys are new to the channel i do anime reactions i upload random stuff and i also stream games so if you guys want to join in and hang out sometimes hit that subscribe button and that like button as well due to copyright issues i am not putting any footage in my video but i would leave a timer so you can synchronize with a legal copy or a legal streaming service of your choice so without further ado let's do this jojo's bizarre adventure golden wind uh episode 35 reaction starts in three two one go uh-huh oh yeah so this is what happened last episode <laughs> uh-huh their their minds have now swapped yeah oh yeah also last episode uh paul the rep thinks that the boss is a duo so you have dopio and diavolo but he didn't know that he doesn't know that diavolo is schizo and he has two personalities in one body da -da 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 -da. Requiem, no, let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then we have this. So it's like 
this is like a signal that we are at the end because you know when the main villain itself is interrupting the main the main plot the main the main opening you have like this you know you this is a signal that we're beginning to end Let go! Golden wind! Cha 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 cha! Let's go! <laughs> oh, yeah! What would happen though? So, the, the arrow is now. Are they gonna like return to their own bodies? Uh huh. Oh, he recognizes Narancha. Iteration. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> My boy is a turtle now. John Pierre Paul Narev. But I swap souls with this turtle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Then the one in my body is. <laughs> uh huh. Still out cold. Who swapped minds with you? Uh huh. Yes, it moved an inch. It's completely out. Uh huh. Oh! No! What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the heck's happened with with sticky finger? Okay, what happened? Something wrong. Oh no. Oh! Duck! Oh! Spice Girls! Okay! Oh no! What the hell? The stands are going berserk? <laughs> what the heck? Okay! Whoever... What the hell? So only number one went berserk. What the hell? Oh, it's just walking away. <laughs> Stand ability, uh huh. Okay. Now that Requiem has gone berserk. It has carried on my wish and has become a defensive stand. I'll to make sure it doesn't let anyone else have the arrow. <laughs> By their own stand. Holy shit. Uh huh. Okay, so what are they go going to do now? Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, they swapped bodies too. So even the baby and the mom, and then the dog and his guy. Oh no, Bucharat is getting up. Oh no. Okay. Shoot him now. Uh huh. Our wounds, my god, if we could pull the heal. Uh huh. Oh. Oh no. Oh shit! Damn it! Okay. Something still feels fishy here. It's not this easy, right? Oh my god. Stop it, Narancha. That's a death flag. My boy is playing with the death flag. Stop it, Narancha. No. No, my boy. Oh my god. This is a death flag. Narancha's gonna be the next one to die. Shoot both of his legs too. Uh huh. Okay, give him some, some bullets. What the hell? Oh no! Holy shit! Okay! Yo! So the boss is in a different body! Uh huh Uh huh. Drop another bullet. Yeah, drop one other one. Come on. Oh no, it's like Mista's uh, jinx. Sense the boss presence from that body, alright? Yeah. You swapped with Narancha, Mr. Swap with Trish. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh no. Where is. Fuck! Did they get... No! We'll drop one more bullet. Oh my god! Holy shit, Narancha! Narancha! 
Holy shit. Load your gun. Holy shit. I knew it. Narancha is activating the death flag. Oh fuck. Don't tell me Naranja's dead. Oh shit. Didn't reappear anymore. Uh huh. Two or three meters. Okay, so he's somewhere near. Uh. Uh huh. What the fuck? It's an empty shell. Have already been healed by gold experience. Oh my god. <laughs> Naraja! I knew it. Naraja's the next one to die. Oh fuck. His soul has already left the body, damn it. I knew it! I knew it, he's doing a death flag. I could exist in both bodies. Oh, he could go back to his own body now because it's empty. Ah! Naraja! Damn it! Okay, Aerosmith didn't see that coming. Ah, damn it! Like, we're losing the points now! What the hell? You know, uh, last time in part 4, we barely lost anyone. Oh, it's Fugo. Damn you, Fugo. If you have joined them, then you would have had a chance. Oh man, Aerosmith is flying. Like a bird in the sky. Damn it, Narancha. Are we gonna see a... Oh man. Ooh, Narancha. Where the fuck are you, Diabolo? Don't tell me he switched. There are actually two of them. There's only one, one. Oh yeah, he figured it out. Has two personalities. It's the kid that I encountered. Yeah. Uh huh. Can be scarred and split due to traumatic experience during childhood, yeah. Uh huh. Dominant or the other, that's the multiple personality disorder, yes. Physical features change depending on their personality. So away from this body. Uh huh. But they ended up someone else's body. Oh fuck! And they don't know who it is. 
Okay, where did he go though? Yes. Oh my god, so... Okay, he already left the area. He got rid of our radar first. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Oh my god, they have to... To the left. Oh man. Be able to stand up and move. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, they're gonna leave Naraja at the Colosseum. Ah, oh, man. Can't hurt you anymore. Damn it, Naraja. Oh man. Yeah, a bed of white white lilies or daisies. Let's go. Oh shit. He's here. He knows. He's hiding in the dark in someone else's body. Okay, if he got ripped from someone else's body then where is he? So, if he switched with the civilian, where is that civilian soul though? Got close, so I thought it might have been the boss. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. There it is. Requiem. Chariot like Requiem. Nor any emotions. Okay, it only cares about, like, not getting the arrow to anyone. Okay. Uh-huh. But once you try to touch the arrow, it will go berserk. Damn it. Gold experience is stopping. So don't tell me the only person who can touch the arrow is actually... Uh-huh. We tried to touch it with something. It'll come flying back at us. Okay. But if it's someone who's not a stand user, try to pick it up. They are. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he can do it. Okay. Okay. 
Oh. Beers just stunned with this arrow. Shit. Oh my god, we're done. Ah. What is it? Oh, we're on the bad Stand up, join us, modern crusaders alive. We got the power of the future. The sweet and finest, the saddest, all do not destroy us. Visit us, son. Let die, die, Bria. That's about them. Oh, you have like King Crimson here with uh, Spice Girls. <laughs> then you have like six pistols and then on the top it's gold experience. Okay, what's the title of next episode? Diavolo Surfaces. Ooh. So basically Diavolo is gonna show himself next episode and so yeah so what's gonna happen next though so my theory here is either Giorno or Diavolo or I think it's gonna be Diavolo Diavolo is gonna like appear here and uh, try to pierce himself with the arrow so he's gonna have a new ability uh, but then also like my boy Paul the ref like going clutch using the turtle mouth to actually grab the arrow uh, so basically it's just aware or it's preventing stand users from touching it but when a non stand user touches it it will uh, try to attack I guess so it's going to attack Paul the ref uh, and then um, I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen next everything's gonna happen next. but yeah this episode's kind of sad though you have Narancha I knew it when, when Narancha started like blabbering about retiring going back to Fugo saying sorry that uh, Abakio didn't make it he's going to start a school or something and stuff like that I knew it was a death flag my boy is already starting a death flag he's gonna die next and the, the sad thing here is he died on like Giorno's body and well at least Giorno was able to like return back to his body man like but but still man like Naraja oh my god the little boy the youngest of them all the one that died it's kind of like so Naranja's the second of the boys to die which is uh which is very sad man like during the last Jojo like uh we never had like a major character died it's al always like the side characters that we barely know like uh i think it was the uh middle schooler guy that we known for only one episode in the beautician that we've only known for one episode that those are the only ones that died during uh uh during uh josuke's arc but which made us which actually made me comfortable that like not not none of the major boys are gonna die but you know we we we, we lost fugo at first but he didn't die so i thought like uh oh, maybe we're, we're just gonna have some people abandoning them but you know when abakio died like yo okay okay so looks like the the threat of major characters dying is back again and I didn't expect it to be the Rancha at first, but you know, when he started blabbering about it, I knew it like, oh my god, the Rancha's gonna die. <laughs> like, it's the most obvious, like, thing when he started, like, talking about death flags. 
But yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Sire, your anime protagonist VTuber. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reactions every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Or if you're from the West, it's Monday and Wednesday evening. Uh, I think for the month of July, I'm gonna tone down on the daily, uh, daily uh, what you call this reaction. So JoJo is the only one that's going to appear every week. And then we are going to... Uh, you know get the spring anime reactions i guess and so that i would have enough time to try to make more content i don't i, I i'm gonna experiment on content in the in the near future so i don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah i guess that's it uh thank you guys for watching this is i your anime protagonist vtuber you guys can also check out my other anime reactions as well i think i have enough anime reaction content for you guys to watch along with me uh have a great day and see you next episode